Car Bomb is a mathcore band that formed in 2000 in Long Island, New York. Band members consist of Michael Deferner performing vocals, Greg Kubaki on guitar, John Modell on bass, and Elliot Hoffman on drums. I will refer to this album as Waveform, given that is what John told me at a concert when I asked during the tour with Animals as Leaders in Periphery. Waveform is Carbomb's second LP, which was released in 2012. It was independently recorded, produced, mixed, and mastered at their own studios in Long Island and Brooklyn. Their ability to release music without a label is due to their financial stability with other jobs. Michael works as a satellite engineer, and the others work in some form of IT as well as having their own companies. I mention this because it will be relevant later. I realize I'm late to the game with this review of an album from 2012, seeing as I could have reviewed 2016's Meta or 2019's Mordial. While I could discuss Meta's high production value and grooviness, or Mordial's versatility and maturation, I decided to review Waveform instead due to it being one of the most insane things I've ever come across. The music is much like the album cover, painful to look at but mesmerizing nonetheless. This album is like opening Pandora's box. With opening track The Sentinel, there is no intro, no ease in, no fade in. You're thrown into the midst of this hurricane with its 50 minute runtime. It is truly unrelenting. While I don't know what the majority of the frenetic lyrics exactly are about, I have some assumptions, such as Finish It being about drug addiction, Magic Bullet perhaps about JFK's assassination, and Spirit of Poison about the CIA's attempted project at mind control dubbed MK Ultra. What I do know is some of the chief inspirations for the lyrics and song structures. These include the technical nature of the respective members' careers, fractal patterns, and the 1979 book Godel, Escher, Bach, and Eternal Golden Braid by Douglas Hofstadter. Through illustration and analysis, the book discusses how, through self-reference and formal rules, systems can acquire meaning despite being made of meaningless elements. Other concepts include mathematics, symmetry, intelligence, self-reference, and recursion. The inspiration from fractals can be heard in the dizzying riffs. I think this concept is what draws me back to this album more than the others. I love the churning feeling some riffs create as if it is a massive wave. As with a fractal pattern, it can look overwhelming, but it has a natural cyclical order to it. Greg has cited electronic artists such as Aphex Twin and Autechre as being influences for his use of guitar effects, such as at the ends of The Sentinel and Crud. I enjoy hearing Deferner's vocal evolution throughout their discography. His vocals for me keep the album fresh by adding tons of variety. Some standout moments for me in this album are the change of inflections in Finish It to distinguish between the pill-pushing doctor and the patient's frantic mindset, or the straight delivery of these lyrics in the seconds with thunderous instrumentals behind. Michael utilizes his vocals to the full extent. Besides belting out his screams, he can effectively provide melody and levity for brief instances before the ensuing madness returns. He also adds zaniness to the album with his woos, exclamations, and odd sounds. Joe Duplantier from progressive metal act Gojira lands a feature on Third Revolution. Carbomb's friendship and partnership with Joe has been pivotal in the formation of their sound and fan base. They share Silver Chord Studios in New York and have continued to collaborate over the years with another feature for Joe on Meta's The Oppressor, as well as being a producer for the album. Each song twists and turns, bringing unexpected surprises within the span of seconds. This album bursts with so much energy. Each song has mini crescendos built up quickly then released like an explosion, such as in 2 minutes and 25 seconds into Spirit of Poison, or this section, 3 minutes and 54 seconds, into the seconds. Yes, this is a very targeted review. 
This is a style of music that tests a listener's comfort and endurance. It takes the most extreme characteristics of music and pushes past its limits. To weathered music fans conditioned to brutal and hyper-technical metal, this album has enough to make your head spin with each playthrough. 10 dizzying riffs out of 10. 